Good to be back, guys. Ep two with Koenig for the rest of the year. Mainstay. Yes, yes, she is. Yep, here to stay. <laughs> Great input. Anyway, we've got a lot to talk about this episode, um, but we're going to kick it off with some origin because what a – I don't even have the words really. Like it was – such a great game but it wasn't it was so wet it was freezing we lost by one point but like by a field goal you would have never picked it a eh? especially yeah. in that weather yeah Loz Brown kicking that field goal in the wet that was very impressive um like very hard to do as well so um it was a great obviously not the best way to finish for us um we definitely wouldn't have wanted to go into a decider um Giving the, fans, what it is. You know what? Yeah, giving the fans what they want. It's origin footy, like, so tough. Even – I just think about the last few games. Um, even Townsville last year, such a tough game. Same thing. It's literally what origin is, like, so, so close. And then to yeah. have it by field goals. I know. Pretty, like, it obviously sucks, but it's pretty special. And to have a, the first ever three-game series go to a decider, it's pretty incredible. You know what? The broadcasters did say, like Nine did say, that the ratings of that game didn't drop off. They only got um, better towards the end of the game. Like usually if, you know, there's 10 minutes to go and you can tell who's going to win or whatever, like they turn it off mm-hmm. or if it looks like yeah. it's one-sided. But the fact that it was so close right till the end, like that is pretty cool to have. Like I think it was even more than the first game. It was, So yes. that means for the next game, like it sets it up. Well, so many yeah. people will just tune in for game three knowing that like, okay, it's actually the last this game. Is, yeah. yeah. And hopefully from that people will start watching and more and more like each year. But yeah. I think the game three is the best thing that could yeah. happen. Do we think Townsville will sell out? I hope so. What we looked it's twenty five thousand. Yeah. Um. I hope so. It's it's hard for like flights and stuff for family and friends to get up there. I it's will so say expensive. that. Why are the flights so expensive from Townsville? Like crazy from Brizzy, Absolute. from Brizzy, from it's Sydney. Really They're all right to get there, but to get back, like you're stuck. It's up almost there. what? It, what was it? Eight hundred dollars return trip. Yeah, for, like, more than that. that. Is really expensive. Yeah, especially when you want your mates to come in up. Yeah. And, Who's going to pocket out eight hundred? You know what? They're just doing it for the Queenslanders so that they can all be there. Whatever. Well, it's still even far from Brisbane. Yeah. Yeah, but still. Unless but you're like from Townsville or like yeah, close but by. You know what? Like Townsville turn up Love. for any game yeah. and they know it's on. If it's um, they drive hours. Yes. yes. If it's marketed well and they yeah. see about it and hear about it, they turn up. And now that it. it's a three game, like it definitely yeah. will. I will give a massive shout out to the people at Newey that yes. came. I know we, they, it was a sellout. They did sell 33,000 tickets, um, but because it was torrential rain and like pitch black and freezing, uh, they got just over 25,000, which is That's still incredible. really cool. Uh, but Obviously, if it was the conditions were better, I think that we would have seen more people at the game. Pouring down. I don't think the T like showing on the TV did it justice with just how wet it was. It didn't. It was raining the whole time. Yeah, and it was almost pointless wearing a poncho because you just got no. Yeah, like you could have just sat out there. Yeah, yeah. Even like running water in your shoes i don't know oh, about yes. you guys full it was puddle. like full sludging yes. before like i started off the bench so before i had even gone on my f- boots were like <laughs> yeah didn't even matter though because when you did get on second set in little try little for four Let's go. You know, how good the hard work had been done he go and done all the hard work <laughs> and, and you get everybody's on everybody's and... worried about grace you know and i would be too because i would be too she's she bloody is, uh, hard to stop she i was is. worried i was standing out the back and I was worried about Grace. I'm going, oh, Grace is probably going to go over here. No. no. It's cheeky. Where's the threat? Where's the threat? At the rock. Always at the rock. Where the ball is. And yeah. guess who clocked off but ended up winning them the game with a field goal? Loz Brown. Yeah, I'm going to say to make that. one up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, but yeah, I love just you, Loz. But. Going back to that field goal, seriously. Yeah. Oh, I feel like we were losing the momentum of that game mm. in those back ends, especially after Taryn scored. Oh, um, yeah. Anyway, don't like talking <laughs> about it too much. And then we obviously saw Taryn at training like two days after and everyone's given her the cold shoulder. There's six whatever. of us. <laughs> One of her. One of her. It's for... the best case scenario yeah. for us. Like, and I will just say, sorry, Taryn Aiken. Where is she born? Where is she from? Mm. Central Coast. Gosford. Born, born in, in Gosford. 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 And you know what the funny thing was? When they, she scored a try, they announced your junior clubs. 
Wyong Roos. Did they announce yes. that? Did you think up to? Like, they did not announce yeah. that as yeah, a junior. Yeah, because uh, when we were in the huddle after Stop she scored, it. I heard it and I was going, this is so funny right now because everyone from Newey knows who Wyong Roos yeah, are. Yeah. Like, they're a big club on the They'd Central like, Coast. And sorry, she lived in Tweed Heads her whole life, which I'm pretty sure is not across, across the border. Yeah. Anyway, we're just being sore losers now. But I, she, <laughs> it's another example of where Queenslanders are actually from. New South Wales. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, good honour. We whatever. get it for the club. Club season, you know. Yeah. Anyway, that would have helped not having it then. But um, <laughs> it was We're good. glad she's in our team for yeah. Roosters. Yes. Yeah. Because yeah. she just pulled shit out of her ass, really. Yeah. <laughs> Re- <happened>. Really? <laughs> uh. But, yeah, it was a tough game. Um, the momentum definitely shifted in the back of the second half. So we'll try not to let that happen in game yeah. three. Yeah, but I do think it was a great like f- great performance from both teams. Like really, mm. really tight, which mm. is exactly what you want. I know I keep saying that, but you just, know, you know what else you. I was thinking as well. Last year when there was two games, and then there was that extra. Um, oh, sorry, there was a what was it on? It was on a points aggregate. aggregate. Yeah. yeah, a points aggregate. I can't bloody speak, but. Imagine winning that game but then losing the series. Oh. Like it, it literally was an opposite of what happened last year yeah. but we've got a game three this but year. I couldn't s- imagine celebrating after no, losing no that way game. We, like we were depressed as. What was it did maybe a reporter say to you like, oh, like if it was the same situation yes. as last year, you guys would have won the series. Who did they like, say? They said that to Izzy oh, and Izzy was just like, like. No one wants to win like yeah, that Yeah, anyway. no one wants to win like, like that anyway. Even yeah. if we could have. Like that, if we got to pig, I would not want to win like that. Yeah, like, no, it's and crazy. Lucky we've got three, hey. Lucky we've got game three, yeah. guys. Heading up to some sunshine. Not that wet. The wet was why we lost. We just no. didn't play as good as them. And yeah. well, the thing is, we both play in the wet. Yeah, we're both playing. We're in both the wet. playing in it. Yeah. They're just a better team in the wet. To be honest, I think they are. You can't. Like, well, nah. I feel like you can't blame the conditions. We they were a better team in the wet, is what I mean. Oh, for well, that night, for that day, yeah, maybe. But they were because they won. For that day. <laughs> for the, geez. <laughs> Let me finish, Millie. Really. <laughs> wow. But um, I still think the quality was really good. Yeah. Like if you remember game one last year oh. in Para, there were so many drop balls <laughs> from both teams. It was actually ridiculous. But on Thursday night, like it was still such a high quality game. It was a little bit slower, but like drop balls were at sort of a minimal, yeah. I'd say. Um, and it was Really, like, free-flowing for, like, the first 25 minutes, I didn't, I reckon. There was hardly yeah. any stoppages. Yeah. yeah. Was I was crazy. watching that first 20 and I'm like, they would yeah. be blowing. There's I no like, back-to-back. Back. Yeah. Back-to-back. Yeah. Yeah. But no, it was good. Sets it up for a good one, so bring on game three. Yes. Okay. So this is our new game. It's trending at the moment, but it's you say this when and the little things that we, we're going to describe – when they would say this and then they've got to say what it is. We're yep. going, going to give them our phone and it's like heads up, it's on the top of their head. So Can I say this is it. hard because I was thinking about things yeah. you say. You don't say too much. Okay. Like you say a lot but who's, not the same things. Okay, who's going first? You, you hold this you want me to on hold top this? of your head. All right. Okay. Okay, Keely. Okay. Yep. You say this when um, everyone's eating chocolate and you, you won't have any. Ooh. Or like you won't go for a... When you're like... Trying to be really good. Yeah, oh. and you're trying to be really good. Okay. Someone goes, oh, just just have one. You'll have three okay. instead of Chucky. You don't look like this without a bit of dedication. What? No dedication. <laughs> Discipline. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> both are right. Well, I've never heard you say dedication. Yeah, you, you just change the word. Discipline. Oh, I think I say both. You no, don't. You, you say don't. discipline. And sometimes I say you don't get a body like this without a bit of dedication. Yeah, you don't say de- you say discipline you though. I say discipline. Hands down, you just said the wrong mm. word. I, I'm the one who says it. I think I would know. Anyway, <laughs> that's pretty close. <laughs> okay, right. this one is for... Oh, Koenig. Koenig. Pass yep. that to Koenig. I'm nervous that I'm not going to be able to get it. No, you Look will. Look at the camera. Really? Oh. <laughs> oh, no. All right, Koenig, you say this when Keely's about or to anybody. go... Or anybody. Or anybody. He's about to go for a second treat in the... Like a second bicky. All right, fatty. <laughs> That's Mainly good. Keely, when Keely goes for another slice. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Right. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Okay, Millie. Can you see it? Yeah. You say this when we're in traffic. And someone's trying 
you know, just Well, there's just rage. lots of traffic. I actually, I wouldn't know. Well, I swear on the a lot. screen. It's about to go. Um, you know, when we're driving and someone really wants to merge, <laughs> but you will say. You know, when somebody's maybe trying to get in. <laughs> Don't let them in. What? Oh, like, but you say it like, don't let them in. <laughs> Is it don't let them in? <laughs> okay. Uh, we'll just say yesterday we were on our way to training. Keely, we, we literally mm. we were driving 1K. It took us 15 mm. minutes. Keely's letting people in front of her. No. Okay. I'm going to dispute you right now. This isn't a one-time thing. You do this all the time. <laughs> I don't let people in. They're going to take off the front of my car. <laughs> Millie's grabbing their steering wheel and beeping at them, yelling, saying, don't let them in. That's and it's not just funny yesterday. When Millie's driving in her car because all her senses go off when she's <laughs> about to go on someone's ass. It's like, beep, 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 beep. I'm like in the front and they're like just this. They're just cautions. And she's desensitised to them. So it will slam on the yeah, fucking brake. And it's like, beep, 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 beep. And she's like, not even phased. She's like, oh, is there chewing gum over there? And it's just like <laughs> slamming on the brake and stuff. And she just yeah. does not care. Agreed. But your oh. driving's obviously not the best either. And either's mine. Mine is pretty shit too. Yeah. But we're leaving training well, yesterday. Please can be honest. Just quickly, we're leaving training <sighs> yesterday. And I was driving behind Kiel's. Oh, left the sorry. Oh, I should have jumped in with you. Honestly, left indicator on turns right, and I'll go. Oh, whatever. European car does it again. Like, she does it three at a times. Times. European car. We get out of a no, but we get out of a tunnel yesterday. There's literally <laughs> brick wall in front of us. Keely's in the left <laughs> lane, and I'm like, Keely, it's the right lane. She goes, I know that, and literally she misses the fucking brick wall by this much. <laughs> No one here. You actually did. And lucky it was Koenig behind you. Otherwise, you wouldn't have been able to get in. I wouldn't let you in. It was I like was sped up. 9 p.m. I knew Koenig was behind me. You I did not even know she was behind you because then we saw her and you like, some oh, faith. <laughs> <laughs> have some faith. You guys underestimate Sorry. me. I didn't see it. Okay. I've got one more for you because I love this one. Okay. Okay. Wait, show me. Can you see it? Show the camera. <laughs> I don't think I'll get this. Okay. <laughs> you say this when you're doing your hair and then... I'll be like, oh, you got a ratty or there's something at the back of your hair. <laughs> it doesn't it's look there's good. There's a bump. It doesn't look good at the back. What do you say? You do. You know you, you do, say you this. You say this all the time. Yeah. I'll, no, I'll, I'll be like, like oh, it's, it's messy at the back. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the back of my head is none of my business. <laughs> 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 what's, going on the, what's going on at the back of my head is <laughs> none of my business. <laughs> I love that one. That's, yeah. one. Uh, That's like Paris Hilton shit. Yeah. yeah she gets also, of okay, Millie reckons, I want to dispute this. You saying that's hot in footy. Okay. Honestly, you never used to say that. No I way. Swear, I've always said that. You can literally call Adam right now. I've always said that. Maybe I don't say it all the time, but it's something I've always said. I get that you I have hear, started saying yeah. it heaps. I hear that you say it, but Keely, I think you Keely just, just made it oversaturates it. Yeah. No, I feel like I've said it so much it's worn onto you and you what, think in the last three months I've literally been saying it for ages. No, I we can share okay. catchphrases. Okay. Sweet. Anyway. Just put it on a shirt. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Moving on, moving on. <laughs> moving on, but I do that. like that segment. That is a fun segment. It's a fun one. Okay, so big week coming up, guys. There's actually a fair bit on. And now that we're all permanently living down here, it's actually pretty cool. Koenig, you were in um, Brizzy the other day. Yes, yesterday. Uh, tell us a little bit about that. It flew up there with your mum. Yes, so mum was up on the Gold Coast. So she drove up to Brizzy, met me there. Um, and we did the cutest little commercial for Yui. One of the oh, shout out Yui and our sponsors. Yes, thank you for that. Um, it was such a great opportunity. Um, and like the segment was um, me and my number one fan and mum's oh, obviously cute. my number one fan. Um, so it was sort of like an interview set up and um, it was really, really sweet. Um, mum thrives in like <laughs> attention, so it was really cute. <laughs> wonder where but you get it from. <laughs> you know what? You know what? For someone who loves to yarn and to fucking yap, yep. she is shit in front of a camera. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I, told, I told her that mid interview. I'm like, are you sweet? Like, <laughs> probably nervous. She looks so, so sweet. That photo you put up. Yeah, yeah. she looks great. She is. She's bloody milf. Um, I love her. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what the funny thing was? Um, she's like, de- I think she's deaf. She won't admit that she's right. deaf. But <gasps> we'd have the producer behind the camera and he would be asking her questions because it was mainly aimed at mum and um, she would just um, answer like stuff about me and stuff. And 
he would say something and it's like she didn't realise she was on camera so he would ask her a question and she'd be like, pardon, like, sit forward? <laughs> and I'm like, mum, like, you're on camera. You can't be doing that. But it was really, she had a lot of fun. Good That's experience so for her. You do so well with those um ads and like from what i've seen they really like share people's stories really well and it's really yeah. nice so i can't really wait nice. to see it yes yeah, yeah, they've got a lot wait. of content so um i'm sure they can cut something and put it together yeah um together well and then robbo actually came in julia robinson Cute. came in with her one of her coaches oh like nice. that's so sweet yeah. yeah so they were doing the next segment after us which was Awesome. Like, I think it was really and sweet. And I just wanted to actually say thank you for helping me train because I've actually got a big swim on Wednesday night, guys. Yes. And um, we've been down at Coogee. We've down, been down at Bondi practising starts, dives, finishes, all yeah. of that. And I'm really excited for Wednesday night swimming with and against some Olympians. So what's the go with it? How's it working? So it's to promote uh, the Olymp the Olympics being on Channel Nine, and obviously the swim trials, Australian swim trials, are on this week all week for um, Paris uh, qualifications. Yeah. So yeah, and you're you're racing in second, right? Yes. Yeah, so you're I'm racing in a relay. I'm in a team with Sylvia Jeffries and me, and then there's four other like old um, Olympians, like. Um, Australian um, legend swimmers yeah. and we've, there's like nine teams so it's like Sam Thiday, JT, oh my God. like Sick. Carl Stefanovic, like it's all, it's a big crew but the first two swimmers of every race are um, amateur swimmers. Yeah well not for yourself. No well look I did message Sylvia don't she didn't <laughs> like follow me back or anything but I just said like we really need to win this so <laughs> Like I hope you're not going there Honestly, to come second. We were Sylvia. down at Bondi Icebergs this morning. We might do some more training in the morning. Yeah. I don't know what you're doing up She can't to be it. too tired. Yeah. Oh, yes, true. Oh, yeah, you go tomorrow. Go tomorrow. Anyway, but, um, you know, I was practising coming in on the wall oh, yeah. and you are practising your timing and you looked really good. Thanks, so. thanks, thanks, thanks. So, yeah, I'm really good, I don't excited know. for that. That's going to be good fun. <laughs> I actually grew up swimming a lot um, at Cabago Pool. Um, nice and then pool. we also went in the sauna and got a few compliments from oh. strangers. Yes. Saying that both of us were swimming really. Both? Wait, we were doing both. Some, what yeah. I? No, no, you didn't even swim. You sat at you the end. On the wall you literally on the were holding up the end of the wall. She's like, oh, just wait here, guys. <laughs> they said that we were flying. Yeah. They were like, I oh, did like, a few dives in the outside lane. And I said, we said, yeah, that was us. And I said, you were flying down the hill. I love the sauna there. It's like, right, you can see Oh, It was a bit funky, though, the smell. Oh, well, saunas are funky. That really smelled, though. Yeah. Oh, my but God. But that's, like, a lot of the public use that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's a bit How gross, good is it when you get but, like, into a deep a chat, though, and the time just goes so much faster? Let, like, when you're just sitting you there looking at the though. clock. Yeah. Millie got into a full deep conversation about Australian <laughs> Rugby Union with this old fella. <laughs> and she's like, nah. I'm telling you, because he wanted to take it out Penrith and, and the Waratahs. Like, drop the Waratahs. <laughs> move them out west. And I'm like, that doesn't really go with the demographic yeah. of a Rugby Union. And I'm like, no, when is this time ending? Do you know what the funny thing was? There was these ladies, because like the sauna was pretty packed, these ladies standing and then they were talking to this other guy that was sitting and one of the ladies were like, oh, my gosh. It was like a truck. We were in each corner each just corner, like going back and then back the and guy, forth. the guy just goes, yeah, it's intense, isn't it? And then meeting their conversation because you guys are like screaming at each other across from the sauna. We were screaming. We were talking. It's Loudly. Just it's talking. Loudly anyway, talking. he was a passionate rugby union he was. fan and it was it was good. Anyway, mm. um, Killy, have you got anything happening this week or... What's coming up for you? Anything coming up? No, just a few business meetings. <laughs> 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 ah, that's serious though, guys. I actually yeah. do. Is that why you said you want to start doing your hair more businessy? <laughs> Shut up! You <laughs> did say that! What? You said it on the way here! <laughs> you said, I think I'm going to start doing a side part with a low button. <laughs> I said, I really like the side part looks at the moment. And I know they've gone out of fashion. I feel like they're slowly coming back in. I anyway, like side part. I just think it's classic and it I looks do. good. I wasn't saying about business. I mean more like out kind of vibe. Like, okay. But for business. Out. No, not for business. Not for business. Not for business. I don't reckon that's business. Look. I think it actually is. I feel side like I look too serious. I just personally would never do a side park. Yeah, that's not a good sign. Run. You're very fashionable. <laughs> that I'm is, sorry. Yes. That's just for me though. Yeah. What do you think would suit me though? Maybe. You just have to. Maybe do we it. should try it for next week. We'll mm. try it. Yeah. 
Mm, I yeah. the listeners. You are a really you good You are my sleep. unpaid stylist. I am. Yeah. So um, we'll see. Okay, moving on. I was actually supposed to bring this up last week and forgot, so I wrote it down and remembered. Okay, so we we're on our way to like our first session for Roosters and we were on time and everything. This was like a week ago, maybe a little bit longer. And I'm about to get in the car, I'm jumping in the car and you guys, I'm like, oh, where are Keely and Koenig? Like, what's doing? There was a random dog oh. on the footpath. Oh, here we go. And I'm like, girls, like, what are we doing? Let's go, we're gonna be late. No, okay. The dog was running on the road. Let's okay. fucking paint the scene I didn't first. see it on the road. Let's yeah. role play. All right. <laughs> woof, woof. Woof, woof. <laughs> on the road, cars flying down Car Street in Coogee where we live. And oh, tell the listeners oh, where we live. <laughs> and right out front of our place. Anyway, this dog's running out on the road. Poor Teddy is going to get hit. That's his name. Anyway, no idea. Got no road safety, nothing. We're, we're late for training. You know, it's our induction day. Um, Strange is really big on like Beaming. commitment and standards this year. So we're like, fuck. Anyway, Millie's really like, just leave it. Leave no, it on the road. I didn't say on leave it. Road. I said, no, I said chuck it in someone else's backyard so it's someone else's problem. We've got somewhere to be. Okay, I, you know what? If that was your dog. Okay, also Millie hates dogs. I do not hate yes, dogs. Do. I just don't yeah, hate dogs. Let me say this. No, no, no. This is what she did this morning. Yes. <laughs> this morning, poor this Ollie, morning. there was this little tiny, it looked like a cross Labrador or something. <laughs> a black dog. No, it was a little yellow dog. It was so anyway, cute. Anyway, it was tied cute. up waiting for it's mum or dad to Millie. be finished at the icebergs, waiting, waiting. This is Millie on the phone <laughs> talking. <laughs> she has her backpack in the hand. After she all. hit the dog with her backpack <laughs> and I had this in it. It had this. I'm, that dog's got a concussion <laughs> and probably half dead. No, I did not no. hit the dog. I said, I said, we're walking up together. I said, oh, my God, such a cute dog. She walks off in front and then hits the thing with her backpack. <laughs> I can't actually say that you're making this so no, much worse than it was. You didn't right, even you notice clipped, you, you hit clipped it. Dolly. You clipped Ollie with your bag. Olive, Olive. Olive. And I've had How to. How do you know what the name was? I had a tag. I had one of those. Oh my gosh. So you oh sat God. down and talked to it. I had to pat it and it was. It was whining. It, went, it was like, <laughs> I promise you. I promise you. It was like this. <laughs> Seriously, you're a you, bully. You hit it with this bloody big yeti, and you didn't even notice. Anyway, <laughs> so back to our story of when we had Teddy running on the road. Okay. Millie was like, oh, no, we've got to leave. Got to go, got to go. I ring Strangey. I tell him, I was like, look, this is our situation. We're going to be late. We actually, no, you know what I did try? Calling the owner's yes, number five times. It was two different I numbers. I just remember calling. You were calling the number. I was calling mm. the number. We were like, we've got to go. We've got to go. We're calling it. And then we call Strangey, our coach. We go, look. I said, I called him. You guys were too worried about the dog. I said, Strangey, I'm trying to get to training, but this dog, the girls will not leave it and we're going to be late. He goes, you know what? We could do with a mascot, chuck it in the car, bring it to train him. <laughs> we've kidnapped this dog, put it, Keely's jumped in the boot with it. So we put Teddy in the boot and Keely, I just see Keely in the back and Teddy's like obviously excited, jumping up. And then Keely's in the back going, oh, it's okay, Teddy. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, like that. Yeah, it's probably traumatised from her. Yeah. Anyway, so we're boot. on our way to training to take it, thinking we'll just leave this dog with us for the day until they come pick it up. And then we got like... You know, we got up the road and then they Gee, called us back minutes. and they were like. It was actually really weird. It was he really was like, weird. hello. And then he's like, Millie goes, oh, uh, we've got that. Teddy. He goes, what the fuck? No, no. And then after that, after he goes, what the fuck? He goes, he goes mom. <laughs> he's like, mom. This is really the girl. girl. Like, no, oh, Teddy's downstairs. I'm like, Teddy's in our boot. Like, <laughs> did you leave the gate open, Mom? <laughs> like, full. Like, it was, and it was going through the car speaker, so we were just pissing ourselves. Yeah, like, it, it was pretty was funny. So funny. Uh, anyway, but Teddy's safe, and he lives two doors down. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, and that gives me one funny story about it. It was actually really sad, but it's funny. Oh. Um, oh. Okay, so. <laughs> P.S. I grew up on a farm and, like, when dogs did something bad, they got shot in the head and buried. Lead poisoning. Anyway, <laughs> so I don't I don't emotionally attach myself to animals because, mm. like, a lot of them died. So that's just why I am the way I am. Anyway, but my little sister, Hannah, love her. She loves dogs and she loved her dog, 
Alvin so much. Like it was her everything. So she had, when I'm talking about she loved it, like she had a tote bag. It was a photo of her and Alvin. She had a diary. It was a photo of her and Alvin. Like she loves Alvin, Alvin, Alvin. I don't even know what type of dog it was because like I don't know dogs. It was a little dog. Do you know what it was? Foxy uh, Jack Russell Cross. I don't think. That's what Candace is and Candace I, is still alive. Yeah, I know. I think it's out what Alvin was too. It, they're totally different dogs. Like I actually cannot even tell you no, how different they are. I think it just has more Jack Russell in it. Okay. Anyway. anyway, so this dog, little dog, my other sister Stella, I feel so bad, was took him to um, for a walk and then she just had to grab something from the grocery store, tied him up, he got off his lead, it mustn't have been tied enough or whatever, and he ran and got hit by a car. Like so sad. We were literally around the corner. She was around the corner from home. Oh, Stella was darling. like 15 at the time, like honestly traumatic like I hope Stella doesn't listen to this because bring back some memories but anyway so they've hit Candace they were going way too fast Stella has ran after it like I don't know if she's seen it happen but she's picked the dog up and she's like walking home trying to call my mom like walking home with this dead dog in her hands like it's actually horrible and then um she takes it home she's like more like just crying so much hysterical and then they're like oh my god henna's not here like what are we going to tell henna like (laughs) this is really sad do we just take the dog away or do we um put him in his bed and tell him that he died overnight like in his sleep or whatever so they decided to put him in his bed and they thought that henna p.s my sister henna has down syndrome and she's 20 at the time and they were thinking let's put it in the bed so that like Hannah just thinks that she can see Alvin and then so she doesn't have to not see him. Yeah, yeah. so she can process it better. Anyway, so she gets home. They end up telling Hannah, like, they're all just so sad. Was Alvin not, like, bloody? (laughs) No, no, no. No, it was, he was just, like, it hit his head and, anyway. Concussion. (laughs) A little bit more than that. But anyway. (laughs) So then (laughs) Hannah comes home. They tell (laughs) Hannah. They tell Hannah and then... She goes up to the dog, just thinks, like, he's still all right, but they tell him that he's passed away. So, swear to God, she starts giving it CPR (laughs) and does, like, mouth-to-mouth CPR on the dog that's dead. Oh, my gosh. Like, do you laugh or do you cry? You laugh, you laugh. You laugh at that. It's hilarious. Oh, I like I was crying when you mum told me, but you probably cried. I know. Then. I when mum told me, I was crying but laughing. And I was like, oh, Hannah, she's so. Was she doing it well? So... You know, I don't really know, but she. You know what? She's just seen that on movies and oh, like, that's so like sweet. when someone is like saying that they're dying, like you always see someone trying to give them CPR. So it's really nice she's learnt something. Yeah. You know, that's good. Anyway, that is so funny. Oh, <laughs> she was family would have been like, it was a traumatizing <laughs> day for everyone. One yes. really, and then she had to bury. Like, I think she wanted to bury it in the backyard. I think it did get buried in the backyard. Oh. That's anyway. all right. My, my dogs are in the yeah, backyard. Yeah, it's a little backyard though. <laughs> anyway, I just thought that was that's a good one. A little story about a dog that you that's know had a little like girl's dogs. heart, and that's why I don't think that they're good because mm-hmm. you go to attach to them makes you sad. Mm-hmm. Doesn't give you a free hall pass to hit dogs. <laughs> <Yeah. though. laughs> I didn't hit the dog. I didn't actually even see the dog until I went past it. <laughs> yes, you did. I fucking said. You know those... Oh, look at that dog. So cute. And I turned around. I was like, oh, I didn't even know there was a dog there. <laughs> but you know when people are like, oh, that cute little dog, and they like go up to it in the street, like that will never be me. I would do that to a baby over a dog. Yeah, that's where we differ. Baby. Yeah. Like you look at her, a random baby. Go, Keely's like oh. this. If this is a baby, she's like this. <laughs> like she doesn't know what to do. I wouldn't with even hold a baby. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, oh, I'm gonna make you the godmother of my first child. <laughs> oh, anyway, <laughs> no, I'll be alright with like your baby, maybe. Yeah, maybe your own maybe. kids. I don't know. Maybe, maybe. Ah, oh, well, they will be resilient. You know. <laughs> Anyway, I think that's that's us. That wraps us up us, for yeah. the week. Wow, what a schedule and little plan does. I for know. Us. Also, does everyone think this was a better party? You know what? I feel like because we had some four footy and like it's more yeah. more to chat about. We're back into training. Although I have had a couple of people say, 
yeah, I really like your podcast, but when you guys start talking about footy, it gets really boring. <laughs> Can you not talk about that, what please? What do you guys want from us? <laughs> I don't think they like the footy aspect of it. They yeah. just like Keely telling stories. Me telling stories. <laughs> I liked your dog story today. That was good. Oh, thanks. It was sad. <laughs> I yeah, should get Henna on the pod Hannah next time. I, so. yeah. I should FaceTime Henna in. That'd be fun. She'd be like, my dog dead. <laughs> <laughs> my dog dead. That's what she said for a little while after. Oh, Poor dog. Oh. Anyway. anyway. Anyway, big week ahead and we will have another big potty next weekend before we head into camp. Yes. Thanks for listening, guys. Bye-bye. See ya.